First and foremost, I'd just like to kick it off here. I've been through a lot of different experiences in cadets, so making a speech that isn't three and a half hours long proved to be <laughs> a rather ch a challenging uh, feat. But I'd like to begin first and foremost by thanking all of you guys, whether you're junior cadets, senior cadets, and officers, for everything you've done and all the opportunities that I've had to grow. So before I say my official goodbye, I just want to go through a quick little story here, and I'm going to do it as fast as I can because I know we're in a little bit of a time crunch, but I feel as it's very important that I share this with all of you. Now, as many of you guys know, I have loved aviation since I was really, really little. In fact, when I was nine, I was already dying to join the cadet program just to get these little wings. And while these little wings proved to be very special to me, in the end, they only make a fraction, a very small fraction, of what's made this program so important to me. The reason I say that is because in the process of not only getting these little wings, but everything else that I've been able to go through cadets, I've learned a very important lesson, and that's the lesson of never giving up. So I'm just gonna go through this quick, and I really hope the officers don't get too mad at me here, but when I went for glider, I was super excited, super pumped. I said, you know, I'm ready for the challenge. The night I left, I was ecstatic. When I got there, the first thing they told us was, glider is the course where lots of the best learn not only how to fly, but they also learn how to fail, how to not be good at something at first, how to suck and not be demoralized and get better. I didn't even know what this meant at the time. Because Glider, like other scholarship courses, are courses where you get very high caliber cadets. Cadets who get stellar grades at school and have stellar performances in extracurricular activities. So it's needless to say that learning how to fail is something difficult for a lot of the people there. Well, here's my little story. I was learning how to fly. And flying is not something that's natural. Flying is not something humans were built to do. So I struggled. Not a little bit, a lot. So much to the point that my first flight test, the one you do before you go fly on your own for your first time, I failed. And I failed miserably, super, super bad. And it hurt. I was devastated that night. I went home back to the barrack and I cried for a long time. The first time I cried in a while. I asked myself, how am I supposed to become an F-18 pilot with the Air Force if I can't even fly one of our cadet gliders? I was devastated. It was just past midnight when my instructor walked in and said, look, Luis, you can't give up now. You don't have the opportunity, nor the time, nor the purpose to sit on the ground crying. There's not enough time, and it serves you no purpose to do so. So pick yourself back up, and next time you get in the airplane, do your best. And so I did just that. I fought through the nervousness and the stress, and it all worked out in the end. Something that wouldn't have happened, given that I'd given up. So when people ask me how Glider was, I tell them it's a course where you don't really learn how to fly, but more so you learn how to be resilient. How to power through when things get difficult, when things get rough. But the more I realize that this isn't something unique to Glider. This is in fact the entire idea of the cadet program. Whether you're in band, whether you're in the flight training, whether you're in biathlon or anything else. Because look, Success isn't all about getting the best grades or acceptance into the best courses, all the medals or awards, or although this sometimes might seem like success. If you ask me, success is a dynamic journey, not a pinpoint destination that's marked by a special award or trophy. Because you see, we all have our grade days. We all have bad tests. We all have our moments when we break down, and I can assure you, I've had plenty. But you see, it's not the adversity that we face that matters. What really matters is how we react in the face of that adversity, how we pick ourselves up and keep fighting for what it is we love, keep fighting for what it is we want to accomplish. Because our greatest achievements are those dreams that we never let go of. And by doing this, we achieve our own personal excellence. We become strong enough to learn how to fail and how to be bad at something without losing motivation or enthusiasm. We learn how to be resilient without giving up, courageous enough 
without letting our dreams go and motivated enough to enjoy the whole process while we're at it. So whether it be having difficulty with a new instrument in band, struggling to ski up a hill in biathlon, not passing the ITs in level four, or failing your first flight test on glider, don't ever let failure ever tell you you can't. Because you can. That's what this is all about. This is truly learning how to achieve your own excellence. So I challenge you, each and every single one of you, not to focus necessarily too much on the awards or the medals, the grades or the marks, but rather on your resilience, on your passion, on your excellence. Because that's what cadets is all about. Remember this, Winston Churchill once said, success isn't final, failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. And that, my friends, is how you succeed. Per ardua ad astra, through adversity to the stars. Thank you.